this is probably going to be hot, I bet. Basically, I have focused so much on recently lately that uh, I, I constantly have the intentions of filming a video, but I, I didn't know what to film. I don't know how to do videos anymore. I'm like having like a brain fart. Is brain fart the right word? I, I've tried to film a few times. Sometimes I've had trouble with my SD cards. Seriously. Seriously, I was, I don't know how much of that I was filming. Or right, sometimes I'm just not in that, you know, I want to make a YouTube video mood. This sucks. I was talking with uh, my buddies Joe and Mike yesterday, and Mike's like, just just film some of your clothing sales you had recently. But anyway, I wanted to just uh, kind of start a video, and, and, and one place just to pick was uh, Poshmark. The first item I sold was this pair of Under Armour, Under Armour golf pants. I found these at Goodwill. There was 50% off. I had $4.19 into them, part of my average buy cost that day, and they sold for $23 plus uh, the buyer paid shipping. I sold this pair of Puma RSX trophies. Uh, they were size, what size were they? They were size 12. I found these at the Goodwill Benz. Uh, my average buy cost that they hit the Goodwill Benz was $2.22. They ended up selling for $48 plus the buyer paid shipping. My earnings were $30.40. Next up, I sold this Gap long sleeve uh, denim shirt. I found this at a Goodwill. I paid $5.94 for it. And it ended up selling for $20 with, an, with my earnings being $16. Is, is that the right way to say it? All right, this was a Benz find. It was, it's called... Uh, Callan, Callan, I think I'm saying that right. It's a wool sweater. Uh, cost into it was two dollars and thirteen cents, and I I listed it for sixty dollars, and it, was, it sat there for a while. I got an offer last week of thirty five dollars, and I accepted it. Uh, buyer paid shipping on it, and um, I, I'm super pumped about that. I was I was a little hesitant if I should have waited for to try to get a little bit more, or I thought about I had thought about countering at forty five dollars. I really needed a sale, man. I don't know what else to tell you. Uh, after. After uh, fees, my earnings were, were $28. All right, I sold this pair of Lucky Brand 410 Athletic Fitch jeans. Uh, I found them at Goodwill. I paid $7.68 for them, and they sold for $30. So uh, I'm pretty happy with that. My earnings were, were $24. I just found this list of this this weekend. I found it at Goodwill. It's a polo golf uh, sweater vest. Uh, my buy cost was $4.19, and I ended up taking an offer for $22. I had it listed for, I believe, I think I had it listed for $30, and I just took an offer uh, at $4.19. I mean, to, I, 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 to list and sell it the same day, I was just happy to get it moving out of here the next week. You can use that money to buy more stuff, to try to sell more stuff, to try to make more money to survive. It's been going pretty good. I mean, not everything's home runs. I sold this pair of Buckle BKE. I'm pretty sure BKE means buckle. I'm pretty sure. Um, I found these jeans at Goodwill. I paid $8.15 for them. And they ended up selling on Poshmark for $20. Uh, my earnings after fees and everything, it says $16. I almost doubled my money there. Just really focused more on uh, hopefully selling stuff faster. If you watch my last video, I had this Rock Revival jeans. Uh... I paid up for them. I paid twenty dollars, but I found such great stuff that my average buy cost that day was eight dollars and sixteen cents, and they sold in like a couple hours on Poshmark. I gave out an offer. Um, I, I sold them for forty dollars with discounted shipping. My total earnings was thirty dollars and ninety five cents. So, uh, but I have times where I go out and I buy. I, I try to I try to be picky, and I come back with stuff I shouldn't have bought. Or some, sometimes it's stuff, stuff is so cheap that I just buy it anyway. And they might not go for as much. But I sold these two items to the same buyer in a bundle. For both items, I accepted an offer of $35. First, I sold this Bonobus quarter zip sweater. I'm, I think I'm saying that right. I have no idea if I'm saying that right. But I found this at Goodwill this last weekend. I paid $4.19 for it. And the other one was an Under Armour... Under Armour Cold Gear quarter zip sweater. Average buy cost was $7.68. At the time when I took the offer of $35, I thought that the Under Armour item, I thought I had $4.19 into that also. So I doubled my money. I'm okay with that. I thought I had a lot less into those, but that's my bad for not paying attention. I sold this. It's a pair of vintage structure uh, boot. I think they're bootcut jeans. Um, these are actually my jeans from high school. I listed them last winter. Uh, and just, I was going through some of my items in my garage. I found them and I listed them and, uh, they finally sold. I took an offer of 29 or no, they just bought them straight up for $29. After fees, my earnings are $23 and 20 cents. I had three sales yesterday on Poshmark. I sold this lot of two, it's Bonobus. 
Good sport. I found these at Goodwill this weekend. There's two two of them. They were size medium, and I decided to lot them together. I have four dollars and nineteen cents into each of them, so eight dollars and thirty eight cents. I took a best offer of twenty twenty five dollars plus uh, the buyer paid shipping, so I, I earned twenty dollars on that. So um, I sold this pair of Levi's five fifty jeans. I have four dollars and nineteen cents into them, and they ended up selling for twenty dollars plus shipping, so I earned sixteen dollars off of these. Is a pair of Lucky Brand three sixty one vintage cut jeans. These are four dollars and nineteen cents. Uh, um, four dollars and nineteen cents into these, and they sold for twenty nine dollars uh, plus the buyer paid shipping. After fees, my earnings are twenty three dollars and twenty cents. <laughs> this is gonna sound so stupid if if you guys if you guys don't. If this is something that just is pretty common knowledge, if you are a posh person. Before, I would just go to my closet and I share at least one time a day. And I mean, I've been making sure I do at least one time a day. Sometimes two before. And I would just, uh, ooh, something at McDonald's. I would hit share each listing and I would do that. And I would go through and do that for all my listings. Um, for everything. For everything. And it just, it took forever and it made it just annoying. So I found this little thing up here in the upper left hand, um, upper right hand corner. It's a tools bar. This toolbar. And then you go to bulk listing actions, hit share to followers. And then you can just, you just click on the ones you want to share. So I do this, I don't know, probably three or four times a day now. I... I mean, stuff ain't going that good that I have a, a, a what is it, a robot or a bot that does this stuff for me. Um, I won't share that. Once I sell, sell it, I don't uh, do it anymore. And uh, just kind of during a commercial break or something, I just click on every one of these and I just do it a couple times a day. And it's been working. And I mean, I always list, I always send out offers to people. Um, the other day was the first time I figured out how to use the same thing you can do. Uh, when they do closet clean out, you can, you can, uh, um, bulk edit the prices so you can drop all your prices. Before I didn't really mess with it. I would just do a few at a time. That's all my things. So once you get down all the way down to the bottom, you do share to followers and then it just, it just, I have 80 men's items. So it ends up just doing it. I don't have to do it after that. I just have to click on those one time, which it took, what did that take? I mean, I'm not gonna, I won't put the whole thing in there, but it only took a second. I've just been doing that. And I, I, again, I don't know. I might sound stupid if it's pretty common knowledge. And, but I don't know if that's what's been helping me, but I've been selling stuff like crazy on there. I really appreciate you watching. See you guys later. Oh my God. Boop. If I start the, the video with so, I'm gonna flip out. On the count of three, say Poshmark Dan. One, two, three, Poshmark Dan. That's pretty good, right? <laughs> my chair just sank. Have the... Did you, did you see my chair just fall? Because I've sold bundles. I don't even know what a bundle is, and I sold one. I'm going to be out of hot chocolate before I start the video.